atmospheric scientists are gaining a more precise understanding of the causes of these phenomena. Here, for example, they are artificially creating global weather patterns for study. What they call familiarly the dishpan is a flattened model of the northern hemisphere. Ice is placed in the center core to simulate the pole. The heated outer rim is the equator. When dye is dropped into the water between and the pan rotated as our Earth rotates, patterns emerge. These patterns are like the vast currents in the Earth's atmosphere, which carry heat from the equator toward the poles and bring back cool air toward the equator. Without this constant heat exchange, the tropics would become unbearably hot, the polar regions unendurably cold. These currents moving between hot and cold form lobes, like the petals on a flower. And if we look at the rotating pan from above, through a camera turning at the same rate, we see a shape astonishingly like the patterns on a weather map of the northern hemisphere. it is possible to make another kind of model of global circulation. So we take the kinematics of the motion completely into account, but between two zonal walls... At the U.S. Weather Bureau in Washington and, and elsewhere, the width scientists are developing mathematical analyses of the weather. Where this is the heat flux due to the mean meridional circulation. Flux that the equations are put in a form that can be handled by a computer. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying.